OK, so you've got some money? I have. Not very much. Only five Canadian dollars. Um, the uh, current Canadian 5, 10, 20, and presumably higher denomination as well, uh, bills, as they would say, have, like all paper money does all over the world, has all sorts of security features on it. You've got uh, the transparent bit, like the new UK 5, so 10. It's transparent. Yep. It is transparent. And you've got a bit of foil in it, and you've got clever printing going on. And you've also got, because it's Canada, you've got a maple leaf here that's got a circle in the middle of it that doesn't seem to be doing much until you take a laser and shine it through it. Now, what's actually going on here in that circle is that there is a fearsomely complex pattern of slits and gaps, so that when light goes through it, particularly laser light, it will diffract in such a way as to cause a diffraction pattern specific to this note. So if I take my laser pointer, shine it through on the wall there, you will see a diffraction pattern. Let me just zoom in on that. You've got a central maximum, as any student of uh, diffraction patterns would confidently expect, but your subsidiary maxima, I suppose you would say, yeah. forming um, symmetrical, has to be symmetrical of course, again students of uh, superposition will understand why, uh, a symmetrical pattern of a dollar sign and a five, and the ten dollar and the twenty dollars have the exact um, equivalent. Uh, when we uh, got some money back like this uh, to test it, we actually tried a 5, a 10 and a 20. Um, for reasons we couldn't quite fathom, we found it worked best with the red laser pointer, better than the others. Uh, we were expecting green to be a bit brighter, but it ended up being fuzzier. And the patterns for the 10 and 20 dollars weren't quite, didn't look to us quite as um, precisely defined as that 5 dollars is there. So that's why we stuck to using the uh, five dollar note. I, 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 guess, I guess the red laser is probably, uh, they're, they're cheaper, they're only a couple of pounds aren't they each, so I guess it's kind of, anybody can check their money to check it, it's not counted. Possibly, possibly, maybe it's something intentional, I was just expecting it because, you know, human eye responds better to green light mm. than it does to red and um, might then end up looking a little bit more precisely defined, I don't know, but yeah, maybe it's intentional. Yeah. And, and how about the UK fiver? The UK Fiver, tragically, when it first came out, uh, having already heard about this and seen it done, uh, the Australian banknotes apparently have the same thing on as well. Uh, when the new £5 note came out, I was desperate to, uh, uh, to find out whether it had it on, and sadly, as far as I can tell, I've shone lasers through every single bit of a £5 <laughs> note I could find, and I couldn't find a single diffraction pattern, much to my uh, broken heart. Thank you.